Hello YouTube, this is Ruthless Barbarian again. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I posted and I've gotten quite a few people asking me whether I'm going to be posting again. Of course I will be and I truly, truly appreciate you guys um, asking or inquiring about uh, my videos. I, I am very extremely thankful to you all, uh, to all the subscribers and people that watch this channel. A uh, couple of things I wanted to mention before we dive um, dive into it. Number one is I wanted to say uh, thank you again to everyone for your support. And my channel is not meant to do what other channels are doing already. Um, if you're here to just watch the replays or attacking, I would say there is already a ton of material like that. And on top of that, I'm not trying to post as much of that because that's what the game is for. If you want to see attacks, attack. If you want to see defense replays, look at your uh, battle log that should be enough information i'm only going to be sharing the ones that are truly kind of important where i'm going to be reviewing or detailing what worked what didn't work so the bottom line is what i want to do here is to share as much experience as i could possibly share with you guys i've been playing this game since december and i would say i am quite experienced by this time um I'm still definitely learning a lot of things and I wanted to say there's a ton of people that I've learned from. Um, number one is I wanted to mention that my reviews or my videos will not be on each individual troop. But what I'm trying to do is to start a new series on all kinds of combinations. And as you've noticed, my BAM video uh, was pretty successful. I've had a ton of responses. I've had a ton of people asking or saying thank you because now they're farming like crazy. They're making 8 to 12 million gold per day. And I'm extremely happy about it because that's what this channel meant to be. Providing you guys with enough information or experience and give you enough educational material so you can succeed. Um, uh, so what I'm trying to say is if you want more about individual troops, uh, there are two links below. One is to Wikipedia. Uh, take a look at it. Um, one of my good friends is running it, so he's got a ton of information on it. Number two is one of the very active in the past YouTuber, Lieutenant Nixon, uh, did quite a few videos on individual troop series. Unfortunately, he kind of quit, but still, whatever he has on his channel is still relevant. It's fantastic information, so please do take a look at it. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The next, um, pardon me, the next uh, troop combination that I wanted to share with you is what I call Dam Combo. The reason why it's Dam because it's um, dragons and minions, as simple as that. I gotta say, um, or I gotta tell you that this is one of the most expensive combinations, but gosh, do I love this one. I'm kind of a dragon guy. I've been using them for a long, long time. And sometimes, or most of the times, most of the time I am full on elixir. So I'm trying to bake those dragons overnight and just go and find some poor town, uh, hole eight or nine, uh, uh, village and raid them for enough resources to cover that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the damn combo. And before we take a look at the damn combo, I wanted to go ahead and review the actual stats of the troops that we're going to be using. Uh, number one is of course the dragon. So the dragon himself, let's take a look at the uh, information on the dragon. As you can see, dragons have four levels. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail again because you can see it all in the wiki. Uh, but as you, can, you can see there's a difference in color, of course, from green it goes to kind of dark red or uh, whatever, brownish. I'm colorblind, so tell me in the comments below. Um, but what I wanted to mention is the housing space is 20, speed is 16. This is a slow troop, but it is really powerful. Don't forget about it. So the attack speed is only 1.5, which is ridiculously slow. As you know, and you've seen it, you, I'm, I'm sure you've tried, dragons are quite slow. So the great thing about dragons, since uh, one of the last uh, updates, is that dragons are now having a um, area splash damage. So uh, what that means is that dragon no longer targets one area. It spreads around. It particularly effective on the ground troops like archers or barbarians or any ground troops. If you have dragon in your clan castle, this is probably one of the strongest defenses other than um, archers. 
And by the way, you can kill a dragon with lightning bolts or lightning spells. You can certainly do that to archers. So preferred target, dragon doesn't have any. He goes for whatever's in front of him. So with that being said, that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. We're going to take a look at it later. Attack type, area splash. As I mentioned, dragons have area splash. They're no longer damaging only one unit or one building, but anything within the three tile areas. Uh, then the weaknesses, the air defense towers, of course. If you see bases with level 7, your dragon's unfortunately going to die relatively fast unless you're going to use the rage spell. Keep that in mind as well. And the next uh, thing that I wanted to mention also, it's kind of a uh, cautionary notice, training cost. Dragons do cost a lot. Each dragon at level 4 is 42,000, at level 3 is 36,000 elixir. If you run 10 of them, that's a lot of elixir, 360 to 420 uh, elixir. Next troop I wanted to review is the Archer versus Minion. Um, if you ask popular opinion, majority of people will tell you that um, they've never even used dragons with minions. They've used them with archers only. And the reason why, probably because uh, there's a ton of videos and people watch them. Um, of course, top players uh, like George Yao in the past, he was using 20 archers, rest dragons. And that's kind of was set in stone. People did not experiment. But what I wanted to look here is, first of all, let's look at the statistics or let's look at and let's look at both troops and compare so archers housing space one minions two obviously archers win with movement speed archers are moving at 24 minions are moving at 32 so we're talking about about 30 percent boost for the minion to go faster keep in mind on top of that minions do not need to break walls they fly right over them next thing i wanted to mention is uh, damage per second uh, two archers would be at 44 points damage per second, whereas one minion is still higher at 50. So we're talking about faster and stronger troop. And the last thing that is kind of crucial, you can look at more details, but the last thing that I wanted to mention is the hit points. If you look at the archer, it's 44 points. Minion is at 78. We're talking about double. So when you know you, you know when you send archers and they kind of bundle together or group together and then you see one mortar shot and it kills them all? That's not going to happen to Minion. One reason, because those ground um, arch, I'm sorry, uh, cannons and uh, mortars are not going to do anything to the Minions. The only thing you need to be concerned about is the air bombs. And obviously there's a trick to do that to send one or two minions first kind of to test it out and if those bombs explode explode then you send the rest of your minions so we're talking about ridiculously faster and stronger troop in comparison to archers so i hope you know the stats and now that you're ready let's go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, gameplays and this is just the beginning this is just the first video of the whole installment on the damn combo and i'm sure there's going to be at least uh, 20 something different combos that we're going to be reviewing within the next few weeks so let's go ahead and view this strategy in action uh, what i'm going to be reviewing and this particular base um, relatively easy to take out and the reason why because as you can see his uh, air towers are only level three his arch towers and wist towers are way undeveloped for his level uh, for Town Hall 8. So this is going to be relatively easy. But again, I couldn't pass this raid because of look at the amount of gold and elixir. So I'm going to drop in, gonna be dropping my dragons in one spot on the right side. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to go with four first. Four dragons, that should be sufficient enough for now. And as soon as I drop them, look at that. Two seconds later, not even that, I'm dropping about 30 uh, minions and the reason why I do that as I've discussed before I want my dragons to go or drill straight to the core if I was to trophy hunt or um, if I was to take out those uh, gold and elixir storages I would want my dragons to go straight to the middle as soon as possible and my minions allowing them to do so by taking out all the side buildings or the um, pumps, elixir, um, and gold uh, collectors. Um, again, as you can see, this strategy paid off. Now, this guy's been inactive for a while. As you can see, all of his gold is in his uh, mines or collectors. And But again, even if his gold and elixir was in the middle, my dragons 
did their job. I'm sending the rest of my minions just to make sure my dragons take care of uh, the middle and they don't go up. Uh, I want them to go specific route. And again, your minions are kind of becoming a sort of a backup, even though they're in front and they're fast and furious. My dragons are more like a tank troop where they go massive um, damage and they cause all those buildings to go and wiped out within a minute or two. As you can see, we're not even two minutes in and we're already at 90%, 94% now, two stars. And I don't even need full three minutes for this particular base. Now, if um, this base was any tougher, if his base uh, had better defenses, uh, we would just drop one or two rage spells and we would still take out all the elixir, all the gold, and we would still have three stars from this raid. So let's take a look at the, um, another base. Now here's another example of way undeveloped. Remember guys, if you want to hurry up, do it at, as you wish. But remember this, you may get additional weapons, but it doesn't mean you will be stronger. Try to max out as much as possible, or at least 80% of your current town hall. Now, this is not an inactive base, as you can see. All of the builders are having the little Z on top, so they're all snoozing. Um, and I know most of his gold will be, again, in his collectors. The strategy here, similar to the one before, I'm dropping all of my dragons in one spot. I'm using minions to kind of side-sweep all those buildings. Now, I kind of hesitated here on top, and as you can see what happened, my dragons went... I'm sorry about shaky screen here. Um, my dragons went to take out all those side buildings. Instead of going and drilling to the core of this base, my dragons went on top. And this is 100% my, my mistake because I did not send those minions right away. So remember that when you use this combo, you want your dragons to be sort of like a tank troop where they go massive, hard, um, and you want minions to go fast and furious and you want them to sweep all the side buildings to allow your dragons to do the most damage and kind of go to the core or any route you want. So obviously with this strategy, keep in mind, if you want your dragons to go to the left, you want minions to take the buildings on the right. Vice versa, if you want your dragons to go to the right, you want minions to take out all the buildings, buildings on the left side. It's as easy as that, but you have to be making sure that you re the release of the troops, the release of minions is pretty much almost instant after you drop your dragons. Again, that's the strategy I've used in a long time. This is one of my favorite combos, I've, as I mentioned. So I've drilled this so many times and dragons still remain one of my favorite troops, period. Um, they're still uh, ridiculously strong and even though air defense been upped by uh, supercell and dragons are not as efficient as they used to be. I believe with proper strategy when you farm or when you go up in trophies um, it's still very very good um, attacking um, strategy. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll definitely get to it more. I just wanted to let you know that there's going to be still a few more episodes on this damn um, troop combo as I call them. Uh, and stay tuned, please. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. If you um, are a subscriber, I just want to let you know that there's going to be a big surprise on Friday. So please stay in touch, stay tuned, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.